Without further ado, please join us in welcoming a special guest here at the opening ceremony. Give it up for Wall and Gary. on this planet and, and my family and all Aboriginal people, we have lived in this country from the beginning of time and um, so I'm just going to share some of the things that we have uh, for you today. So first of all, I'm going to uh, uh, just welcome, uh, say hello to everybody. Uh, I want to say hello in the language of the people from Sydney. They are called Eora. Can you say Eora? Eora. There are 29 clans in Sydney. Three of those clans are the custodians and guardians of Sydney Harbour, you can say it after me. The people that we're talking about is uh, Dara. Can you say Dara? Dara. 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 And Gadigal. So they are the people that we uh, uh, have to uh, uh, pay our respects to, apart from all the other clans. Uh, but uh, what, what, the way we do it here is we show our respects to the traditional owners, uh, to the elders, uh, both past, present, and emerging. Um, so what I want to do is we're going to do a little cleansing and to show our respects. Also, I want to play this wonderful instrument. Um, can you say didgeridoo? Didgeridoo. So when I play the didgeridoo, uh, we're going to get rid, I'll get rid of bad spirits and only allow good spirits to be amongst us. So take this time to absorb all the beautiful energy, and uh, and that'll give you more energy for the day and encourage you to do great things. So uh, without further ado, I'll kick off with the yiraki. Thank <laughs> you. Past, present, 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 present
So over here we have the old people. We have my, my brothers and sisters and all my cousins and all my friends. And then on the side here, I have all the children. So on my left hand side, I have two, two generations, uh, two, two girls, uh, so the little girls and the big girls. And then on my right hand side, I have the boys, uh, little boys and big boys. So uh, my face also means family. So can you say family? Because we're all family all over this world. We're all one people. We all bleed the same colour. And uh, so uh, it's important to note that even though we come from different countries and uh, we have different languages, we are the same, we are the one people on earth and we are all one family. That's how our little people regard the world. So um, I'm going to show you now my next design. Uh, over here, the design that I have in my body is the oldest design on earth. This design comes from our Creator, our God. We call him down here, can you say after me, by Annie? We call him Miami. In my country, we call, we call him Yarrapiri. And uh, in my culture, uh, I belong to a skin name called Jagamara. Can you say Jagamara? And to us, the word Jagamara, the skin name, it's a skin name that defines me, who I am amongst my family and my peers. And uh, what it does, it tells me that I'm a Jagamara. And this design that I have in my body is a design that comes from God. And uh, in my culture, God is my brother, and just like all my brothers, we are God's brothers. God has a family, just like us. Brothers and sisters, cousins and uncles, aunties and grandparents, and so forth and so forth. So uh, what I'm going to do now is quickly show you this design. Uh, it is the water design, it belongs to the water cycle, which is the essence of life on earth. And over here, in the middle, I have the first water hole. So the body, this part of your body is where all the water is stored. And then uh, down my arms and my legs, I have lightning. So I have lightning bolts coming out of my arms and legs. And you can see the fork lightning. Fork, fork lightning. And uh, also on my left hand and right side of my body, I have raindrops. So that represents the rain. And then also in the, uh, um, on, on my arms, I have four generations of women. So over here, there's four generations of women. And on my right hand side, I have four generations of men. So in my story, my story that I have in my body is the creation of life on earth and, in cre and also the creation of human beings on this planet. So this is the most sacred design that you will ever see on this planet and I will share that with you today. Um, I'm going to show you some more uh, this wonderful instrument. Of course, uh, we call it a didgeridoo. Can you repeat this after me? We have other names, we have over 100 names, but I'm just going to share three. The first word, the most sacred word, is called Yiraki. Yiraki. And then Yiggy Yiggy. And then in my language, my language is called Arana. Can you say Arana? Arana. And my people, we call ourselves Arula. Arula. And which means all the people. And um, so in my language, we don't even have this in my culture, because I'm a desert man. And uh, this, uh, we, we call this, in my language, re refers to the windpipe. And we call the windpipe in my language, Impera. Impera. So there we go. So I'm sharing a little bit of language with you today. Um, African languages are the oldest language on this planet. And um, just to let you know, um, the Aboriginal people have lived in this country from the beginning of time. We don't come from Africa, by the way. We come from here. We believe that everybody on this planet originates from Aboriginal people. So don't be surprised if you know if you find Aboriginal DNA in your body. Because our DNA extends all over the world, including Russia, everywhere, everywhere in the So I want to show you now how we actually play it. Um, so in order to play it, um, we have to create a sound, the first drone, and the first drone, we will create everything from our mouth. So the first sound we have to make is the raspberry. Is that one? First hour, second hour. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third hour, we use that tongue. <laughs> and then we use our voice. <laughs>
Unfortunately, girls are not allowed to play it. However, it was a girl that found it in the dream time. And, uh, but she didn't listen, listen to her mother and father, and as a consequence, her father took it off her and told her never to play it again. So uh, you can blame the father for that. Okay? Now, um, so what I want to do now is to share a couple other little things. And in Aboriginal culture, we don't have a lot of uh, artifacts. We are a minimalist culture and we believe that everything is, has many, many, many uses. But over here, we have a good old kangaroo skin. In my language, we call the kangaroo Karana. Karana. That's how we say kangaroo. And the word kangaroo comes from New South Wales. We use it for many things. We use it for clothing, uh, for mats, for, uh, for pillows, for beds, uh, for all sorts of things, for making belts. But we also use it as a musical instrument. And when it's the oldest musical instrument in the world, other than this is one that I was playing, the did you do? But this here is a drum. Mm -hmm. Now we use a drum, just bolt it up like that. Otherwise this, tighten it up. And then we hit it. And there we go. So that's the oldest drum in the world. It is before any drum on the planet Earth was created. And this is the very first drum that we'll and we still play today after 100,000 years. Yeah. I hope that I've shared a little bit of story with you today. I hope you've learned a little bit more about Aboriginal culture and appreciate who we are and, and, and uh, also to understand that this is the land of the Aboriginal people and uh, we warmly welcome everybody to this country. So once again, thank you very much. I'm going to finish up with a little bit more.